after a long, positively Arctic winter in Missouri, everyone is ready to shake off this really bad case of spring fever. And what better way to do it than to look at the trends to come for the 2014 season here at the first time Lake of the Ozarks Marine Dealers Association St. Charles Boat Show. Let's get started by taking a look at the 2014 models on the showroom floor. your first year as the director of Lake Ozark Marine Dealers Association. I bet you had a picture in your head what that would look like with the boat shows, and I bet that that picture has been just destroyed by now. Yes, it has. Got a little bit, Deborah. You know, we always participated with, you know, my past job with the boat shows, but the logistics and all the planning that goes into that, the, the forklift involvement, getting boats picked up, placed on the floor in a building, that was a lot, a little bit different than I was expecting. But, uh, you know, with Mike Atkinson's leadership and his stuff over the years, it's really made my this transition very easy. When they said bring your running shoes, you didn't know they meant like three, four pairs, right? Exactly. You do wear some uh, shoe leather out going up here and down and you know we finished over in park we're now over here at st charles and two levels here at st charles so thank goodness there's an escalator exactly it's interesting of course with this being your first year and this being the first year for the st charles show high marks thus far Oh, yes. We're very happy. Our first night numbers is very good. Uh, the dealers, which is the most important thing, the dealers are very excited and uh, uh, about the activity and the people coming in. So that's, I think we're here for a while. Absolutely. And of course, the shows are always about Lake Ozark Marine Dealers. That means a lot of things to a lot of people. Some people come here looking for boats. Some people come here looking for PWCs. But you also got dock lifts, and we're talking, and docks. Docks, lifts, all the accessories that go along with it. Anything in the marine industry at the Lake of the Ozarks. We have transplanted from the Lake of the Ozarks up here to St. Charles and uh, that is uh, what our plan was and our goal and I think we've got it accomplished. Absolutely and another way that you're really helping people be aware of all of the nautical companies at the Lake of the Ozarks is of course through your website with a great presence there. Oh yes, our, our lake, the, the lakeboatstore.com which is our inventory site. All of our dealers have their inventory on there so people can shop and look and then get a hold of the dealer and put that uh, boat right in your dock. Something I love about the website is it's more than just a directory. You do have everything broken down nicely into categories as well. So you can go straight to what you're looking for. Yes, you can. You can The search uh, mode of that uh, website is very easy. You can uh, define that search really well, get it right down to what you're looking for, like you said. And then that takes all that extra shopping out of the way and get you right to what you want to look at. And it's not all about buying the brand new or even brokering something that's pre-owned. It's about service too and they can find that through the Marine Dealers Association. Yeah, definitely so. That's the one thing that we're very uh, proud of. Our dealers do a great job on service after the sale and that's uh, that's big, you know, because you're, you're investing a lot of money and you want to make that happen and our dealers are very conscious of that and they offer great service plans and everything goes along with that boat buying experience. Well, of course, we all love the boat shows because we get to see the best, the brightest, the oh, newest. The new stuff. That the other reason we at the Lake of the Ozarks love the boat shows is because it's our countdown clock yes, to what looks like it's going to be a really great season and getting back on the water in April, right? That's it. Or sooner. We hope this weather turns real quick. I, I, everybody's ready to get out on the water right now. So hopefully we'll get winter out of the way and we can get out there and enjoy what we do at the Lake of the Ozarks, which is boating. Absolutely. And if they want to see these boats on the water, they can do it at the M Water Boat Show. Yes, we have that coming up there on Easter weekend, April this year. So we'll We'll uh, be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at uh, Dog Days Bar and Grill right up over there, the 19-mile marker. So we're ready for that one, too. Well, I always love seeing you at the boat shows, but my favorite place is to see you is at the Lake of the Ozarks. That's exactly. And, Deborah, you know that. We always enjoy seeing you down there. Anytime your smiling face is there, it makes it a little bit brighter at the Lake of the Ozarks. See why I love this guy? you got to love this guy. <laughs> and we always love seeing you at the Lake of the Ozarks. So stay tuned to Lake TV for more of the Lake Ozark Marine Dealers Association St. Charles Boat Show. 
And we're excited to drop by Bridgeport and talk about the latest in Kawasaki and not just at the Lake of the Ozarks, but nationally, you're quite the name in Kawasaki. Well, we've been selling them for a long time and we have been one of their top dealers uh, volume-wise for watercraft for, for many years. And we do get the Ishaban Awards, which means, uh, you know, the top dealers in the country. One of the things that's got to make it easier to be one of the top dealers is the inventory and the machines. And we've talked before about the engineering. We've talked about the amazing components that go into Kawasaki's. Yes, the engineering. They're an engineering company and make, uh, they're a motor manufacturer and they make ships and trains and bullet trains, you know, that kind of stuff. And then this is their hobby is the personal watercraft and they invented the space with the original stand-up jet ski back now 40, 40 years ago. So here we are in 2014 and we have the, the latest out is their, the industry leading 310 horsepower supercharged with the industry's first um, factory sound system. Of course, industry leading storage capacity and fuel capacity. And we're just trying to get the word out there as the engineers don't advertise that well. They think they build it and will come. Well, that's why I'm sitting here is to tell everybody not only do we have the best performing unit, it's super reliable, and we do feel the best bang for the buck. It's one of those, and, and, and that's in all levels. Our top end, even our the entry level for under 10,000, you're looking at a 160 horsepower that's able to be the family cruiser pulling the kids with the tube, boarding ladder. I mean, just super easy to use. That's impressive. And let's go back to that again. You really did say under $10,000. Yeah, there are. I mean, there's less expensive out there, but that's a fully loaded machine. That's not something that you're going to buy and say, I wish I would have. Yeah. You know, a year or two from now, it's something that, that most people will have for at least four years as cycles change, as the kids get a little older. And they're either, okay, now they're ready for their own or now they're off to college and you do that. But about a four-year rotation and we have five-year factory warranties available. So that all plays into, you know, a great buying experience because they're super reliable. They're going to be performing well. And then on top of that, you know, the service part of it, that really folds in with that. That's where we excel. Um, because we're Kawasaki watercraft only. That's all we do. You know, we're kind of a one trick pony. <laughs> so we better be really good at that trick, which is servicing our customers. Kawasaki feeds into that with the reliability, but that, that personal attention, you're going to deal with somebody that knows Kawasaki watercraft since that's all we do. I've been there 25 years. The, um, the patriarch, Harry's son now has been there all 35 years that Bridgeport's been there selling these things. And Cameron's around here now. This will be his ninth year with us. Uh, Sean's probably 15, 16 years. But it's people that do, this is what they do for a living forever. And that's, that's why, we, you know, it's a career of it. Uh, you know, you'll see the same people over and over year after year. And we'll work on it. Of course, we go to your docks. We do that. That's a, you know, you crack the whip, we'll make the trip. Uh, I like it. That's, that's. That's just what we've done, and you know, I try to be, even though I'm a jet ski dealer, a power sports thing, I try to be like a boat dealer and say, these people are, you know, that has to be my focus is a marine industry, and my clientele is, is really the same as the boat dealers. And I think that you bring up a great point with that, because something people have a tendency to do when it comes to PwC is think that it is more simplistic in terms of maintenance and service and do you see a lot of do-it-yourselfers and with dewinterization right around the corner or maybe already here really right oh, hopefully starting really quick right I mean now. depending on the weather but yeah. it's it's finally breaking loose yeah there's the machines now are just like our automobiles are more complicated and you do have to have the train people you don't have to but we catch things because we're experienced that may prevent something that'll happen later on and be more Ten times, you know, the money you're saving on a do-it-yourself sometimes is not worth it. And we try to be as inexpensive as possible to where we make it where, why would I mess with it? You know, and that's, and we've, we're really kind of there. And, you know, the newer units have oil changes, and with the right equipment, it's not incredibly difficult. But then you go, what are we going to do with the oil? And then, you know, instead of just in the mess, and it's only once a year that you do it. And so the, the annual maintenance, um isn't expensive and is just frankly a phone call and it's done you know and that, that's and as you pointed out you'll come out there and do it am oh, i absolutely, correct absolutely yeah they bring it to us we go out we have storage for them through the winter time we don't have the 
park and go for the summertime, but we do have what I call the kind of the valet system where the people will um, drive up when they're done the last time in the fall, throw us the keys and say, see you in the spring. They come back and you know give us a week or two notice. They say, hey, I'm about ready. We bring her out of the inside storage, get it all serviced and ready to go, have it sitting on the lift to drive back to their dock. That'll work, won't it? Yeah. And if people want to find you, it's really easy. We know where you are, right off the Grand Glaze Bridge, but I'll let you explain how people can find you coming from north, south, east, west. Well, either direction. We're at the west end of the Glaze Bridge and, frankly, the southwest end. If you take the Jefferies Road exit off of the expressway and then come down the hill to us, we're the last thing before the bridge. Or, but uh, very easy to see and not hard to get to. Here we are, day two of the St. Charles Boat Show. Chad, you had to be very happy with the turnout thus far this weekend. Yeah, we've had lots of people come out. I think uh, the warmer weather has really helped a lot, and uh, it's been a great venue for our first year. Well, we were talking yesterday about if there is one word that people correlate with top of the line, it's formula. But you said it's a misconception. It's always top of the line, but people tend to think it's also high dollar every time. And while that certainly can be true of some of your models, you have an awful lot to offer people who are in a mid-level buyer. Absolutely. We're standing in uh, our 2014 240 bow rider, which has a completely redesigned upper portion or deck portion of the boat for 2014. Tons of room, lots of feature, um, and this boat is priced at this show on a trailer for $69,995. A lot of people, it, Formula is their dream boat, and for very good reason, but as we've talked before, they might think that they can't afford it, but right now we're in this, we're in a mid-level boat, but the amenities and the quality is still Formula quality. Yeah, lots of great features. Um, this one's got a 350 mag. We put things on it like battery charger, trim tabs, um, dual battery switch, definitely features that people would want, um, and you also have the ability to customize it and get any color that you want. Well, I know that Formula is a family-owned business, and there were a lot of families on this boat yesterday, staying and watching people. It was like, suddenly, maybe we can look at Formula. It's been received really well at the show. We're really, really happy with uh, how it's going for us, um, and looking forward to day three. Yeah, absolutely. Now, there's a special feature of this boat that that looks like something that absolutely the families are going to love. So show us how this works, because this can extend to how, lo how long? Uh, well, I've not measured it, but I guess it's about seven feet, but it's kind of the, the magic sun pad feature. You can just grab this backrest, and you're ready to go. Talk about a lounger. Talk about it fun in the sun. Yep, it's a great feature. Everybody likes it. Uh, again, come out and see us at the St. Charles Boat Show and see Formula Boats in Missouri and the new 240 Bow Rider. And then in April, they can come to the lake and see them in the water. Perfect. Come on by and we'll take you for a ride. We're here at Glencoe Marina classing up the joint with Barb Niederger. Barb, we've been having a lot of fun with the sport models this year at the boat shows, but we haven't paid enough attention to your beautiful lady here and this very classy, elegant design that you kind of came out of your vision, didn't it? It did, it did. I ordered this boat. Um, I picked all the furniture. I picked the colors. It's got the pearl white exterior with the tan stripe and the matching camel colored interior. Very classy, very luxurious. And let's talk about the carpet because it feels like something that you would see at home, but yet it's very durable and you can take it out, correct? It's made for being on a boat, so it's marine grade carpet, but it's very heavyweight. It's 28 ounces, so it's plush. It's still really nice. Um, and we did a, a snap-in function on this boat, so you can remove it. It's got the vinyl floor, easy to clean. You can take the carpets out and power wash them. It's very, very handy. I heard someone make a comment earlier today that I, it hadn't occurred to me, but it's got to be in the back of people's mind when they kind of look at these boats. The upholstery is so luxurious, but it holds up under the sun really well. You have to find a really good mix because if it's too plush, then there's too much movement and it wears out faster. So you have to have the right kind of density of foam behind it with a heavy enough vinyl that it's going to withstand sunscreen, the sun, um, just the repeated use. So, there. When you look at upholstery today. They put a lot more thought into comfort, don't you think, than they did in years past? Most definitely. Uh, Tritunes and pontoons used to be more just for function, where now they're definitely more for comfort and luxury. And, of course, we, we can't go away without somewhat talking about they're also for speed. 
You bet, you bet. We do a lot of different motor packages, and um, this boat has the Mercury Verado 250 horse, supercharged engine. It has the DTS, which is digital throttle and shift. Um, it's got plenty of power, does anything you need to do. And uh, an activity that could be somewhat intimidating in the past, not so much anymore, is the docking. Well, we have Captain Steve, and he's a really, really good teacher, so he doesn't let anyone leave until they're docking perfectly. Yeah, exactly, and I know that they have certain components on that you can get on the steering wheel to help you dock as well. Oh, I yeah. Right <laughs> he, he calls it the trucker knob. <laughs> But it does, it helps you park really easily. And uh, we also put electric steering on these boats. And this is a big, big option. And it's, it allows you to have single finger steering. It's very, very easy and just helps you maneuver. So family friendly means some things, but it's also family friendly in that operational, just about anyone can get behind the wheel. You bet, you bet, ease of use. Right. And of course, we can't leave without talking about the sport models because have you just seen so many people get excited and walk by and go, wow, that's a tri tune? Yeah, it's a really new look this year with the pearl white interior, the pearl white exterior, with the fancy colors. They're very sporty. Yeah. Wow. You see a lot of mouths kind of drop open when they walk by. And do you see a lot of people, a consumer that at one time would have never even thought? that they would be pontoon owners. And now that the tri-tunes, it's, here we go. I think I can do that. Most definitely. We are getting more and more people who either are getting out of other types of boating and moving just to the pontoon or tri-tune. And we also have a lot of people who are buying a tri-tune as an auxiliary boat. They're going to keep their cruiser or keep their runabout and then have the pontoon because it's easier. Well, I know something that you love telling people when you're talking about the decision to get aluminum versus fiberglass, and I always love watching your face light up because when you get to tell them, let's talk about maintenance because we're talking little to none, right? Sure. Every kind of boat is great, and we like all varieties. We service the fiberglass. We do the winterization. We do the dewinterization, but the nice thing about the tritunes you have one maintenance function per year, and that's changing the lower unit oil. You're not doing all the winterization, dewinterization. Um, you're not doing the engine oil change, all this stuff. I mean, you're going to save some serious money. And when you look at that over a three or a five year period, we're talking a lot of money. Absolutely. And as general sales manager for Glencoe, when it comes to talking money, you sit down with people. You're the gal that sits down with them and says, this is affordable. We can make this affordable for you. We have great financing rates right now. Uh, we have several banks to choose from. We can really, we can make it work for anybody. And of course, Glencove also has a great line of pre-owned boats too. So while we got the best in the variety here right now, you got some really nice pre-owned boats. We do. We have a large selection of used and brokered, and um, we have pretty much anything you want. And if people want to see it firsthand, they couldn't get to St. Charles, and they didn't get out to Overland Park, they get to see some on the water come April. We have Easter Boat Show weekend. It's going to be down at Dog Days. We'll have several boats there. Uh, it'll be a good, a good fun time. Well, we've had a lot of fun enjoying these uh, here inside during the boat shows, but we can't wait to get on the water with you in April. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> we're really looking forward to this spring, aren't we? Yeah, we're over winter. <laughs> Thanks so much, Barb. We'll see you soon. Well, when I came up earlier, you said, we have the boat of the year. And I thought, what does it take to have the boat of the year? What does that even mean? And then I stepped foot on this model, and I thought, yeah, exactly. This is the boat of the year. It has amenities, as I told you. I said, "Was am I naive, or have you ever seen a cabin and an open bow? And you do it all in such an elegant manner. Let's talk about this model. Yeah, we sure do. And like we said, this one's boat of the year this year. And it's and as soon as you step foot on this boat, you can re really start to tell why. Because as soon as we start walking around, it's just a lot of oohs and ahs as you're looking around. And the mid-cabin has so much room down there. So we've been sitting here chatting for a few minutes about what all the great things about this boat. And the mid-cabin and the open bow is one of the best uh, selling points of this boat. Because you often just get one or the other. And yeah. as you and I were talking, if you really think about it, there's a whole lot of the cabin that doesn't get used because it's up in the nose of the boat and it gets a little stuffy. Yep. And so they've kind of, with this model, it's, it's almost an acknowledgement of that. Let's take the space that people want, but let's utilize that space that's not so popular and open her up, man. And they did it in, in such an elegant way. Yeah, exactly. As you can tell with us sitting right here, all this space in the open bow, and it's hard to even tell it there is a mid cabin in this boat. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's just such a huge factor. When you're sitting up here, you don't feel like you were shortchanged in the open bow part. So it's, they didn't have to shortchange anyone on something that you might really like. They just 
put it together in an efficient utilization of space. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of people anymore are day boaters, so at Lake of the Ozarks, a lot of them are living on their boats. So why have all that closed space up front that you're probably not going to use during the day? So you have enough space in the middle of the boat so you can put the kids down there whenever they get hot. Put them out in the air conditioning and you can still be out here enjoying drinks and, and all the scenery from out here on the water. And of course, we've all seen cruisers that have the sinks and have the refrigerators and so on and so forth. This is kind of being in that really cool bachelor pad because the sinks are, are amazing. They look yeah. very elegant, but they look also very trendy and forward. And then, as I told you earlier, a lot of times, even on very nice cruisers, the bathroom facilities are not so great. This is a really nice. It's a comfortable space. Yeah, it's got plenty of space down below, and I wish you could really tell from up there of how much space is down there. So we've got a full head inside of there with a wraparound couch, TV, microwave. So like we said, you could live on this boat if you wanted to, but more made for the practical day boat or Lake of the Ozarks. And I am seeing some speakers on this boat, too, so the sound system must be something to brag about. Yeah, it sure is, and it's really a sporty boat, too, so it's a boat for all ages. Whether you're a younger guy and looking to be on a more sporty kind of power boat, it's got plenty of horsepower inside of it with uh, twin 320 Volvos in it, so it's made for the guy that likes to be out there on the water and go fast, but it's also nice for you can see the wine glasses for people just like cruising and enjoying the enjoying the scenery out there. And another thing that I like about the size of this one and the build of this one is you don't have to hire a captain to come down and drive you. Yeah. Dad or mom can get behind the wheel and drive this one with a lot of ease. Yep, exactly. And really, both boats you can drive with, with they're for beginners and for the expert drivers because they both have the joysticks inside of them. So all you have to do whenever you go to dock is move this joystick to the right or left, whichever way you want the boat to shift. So it's anybody can drive these boats. It's make, They're making them so easy these days. I'm so excited to see these on the water. That's the fun thing about yeah. in water. We get to see them in their natural habitat. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know, we've moved a few at this show here, so hopefully we see a lot of customers out there on the water on these boats this year, too. Well, we're looking forward to it. In the meantime, if people don't want to wait until April to hear about the events and some of your other services and offerings, they can go online and find you. Yeah, go to our website, www.iguanaboatsales.com. You can actually tour all of our different websites. Um, we have all the websites spread across the header of there, so go to that website, and then it'll take you to the several other companies we have now, too. Lots to look forward to. Big things happening for a company that's represented by a smallish reptile. Iguana is once again bringing a lot of sizzle to the Lake of the Ozarks, and a lot of it's going to be on the water this year. People can see them out and about, but we have to talk about the cruiser right now because we're in what to me is a home away from home. Uh, yes, right now we're in the uh, 45 Cantius, and uh, basically this boat is 48 foot long. You know, it has two full heads. It sleeps eight. You, you can pretty much cook, eat, dine in here. Great weekend getaway boat. Uh, has a lot of amenities and a lot of extras on this boat. So to be clear, that means two beds, two, ba two bedrooms, two bathrooms. That you can sleep a lot more than just a family of four. Correct. There's two separate bedrooms. There's a fold-out bed. Uh, there's fold-out sun beds, electronic sure shades to make sure everyone's covered. Uh, you have your... Your beautiful sunroof here as well. Retractable sunroof on a boat, a watercraft. Correct. Yeah, you have a retractable sunroof on a watercraft. Isn't that a, it just this this boat has just blown me out of the water actually, because not really you have a lower cabin and they have another cabin, so you have stairs inside of it. You've got two flights of stairs. Yes, uh, it's it's definitely a bigger boat to navigate than your typical bow rider, and uh, I call it the rumble room because you know that's where you can envision kids playing around. It has really two recliners. You have a fold-out TV so you can see it anywhere in the room. Yeah, you can definitely see the kids down there. Mom and Dad can put the kids go down and play in your room, and and you won't have to argue with them about it because it is it was made for a family, so to speak, with all the little nooks in there. But you don't feel claustrophobic at all. No, not at all. And I mean, if, if you feel comfortable at 75 degrees and everyone feels comfortable at 64 degrees, each room actually has its own climate control as well. And central vac. It does have central vac. It also has a washer and dryer yeah, in it. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. You got to see this boat. And people can see it at the April Inwater Boat Show, but we're not done yet because there's so many more amenities on this boat. There, you, There's just too many to count, but... You look at some of the condos around the lake, and honestly, if you had to go condo or this boat, 
I might be tempted to go with the boat. Hey, at least with this boat, it comes with a grill. You don't have to go to yeah. Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, and buy one. <laughs> right, and you don't have to say you can go anywhere you want in this boat. You can stay anywhere on the lake that you want. Hey, absolutely. If you ever have a problem with a neighbor, you can just pull up <laughs> anchor and float away. No. <laughs> Well, I know that we're going to get to see this boat again at the M Water Boat Show in April. And if people want to take a ride, is that going to maybe be able to happen for them? Definitely. We'll be able to take anybody for a ride anytime they want to. I'd also like to point out, because I'm a woman, bathrooms are important and they're gorgeous. It's You don't, once again, you don't feel claustrophobic when you're inside the bathrooms. And they've really taken great care when it comes to the hardware. Everything is really elegant and up-to-date and trendy. Yeah, they, they like the solid lines, you know, the squared off look. And if you notice, there's not a lot of surfaces that you have to keep shiny or wipe down. So they're trying to make it maintenance free as possible. Now, what powers this castle? This castle is powered by two Volvo diesel engines, 435 horse, with pod drives. What that eliminates is your bow thruster. The pods move individually. That way you can actually dock this, pull sideways. It really takes uh, the fear of docking. Rumor has it that a certain blonde is going to try to do just that in April. So if you don't come to the boat show in April for any other reason, come to watch me dock this boat. Absolutely. And the only thing that this boat will do is take you and spoil you, and you'll never want to dock another boat. I'm sure that's true. So I just now I have to do is get that Powerball ticket. You only have to hit six numbers. Just that's remember right. that. That's right, because actually this boat is very competitively priced right now. Correct. Uh, we actually just dropped the price down from 1.1 down to 7.99. So you get a lot of boat for that money. You can definitely get a lot of boat for that money. As I said, it's always so fun to wait and see what iguana has up their sleeve for the next season, and it's going to be fun seeing what you have, the events and everything that you have planned as our season continues here. If people want to talk to you before that, though, they can go online, right? Yes, they can definitely go online. You can visit us at iguanaboatsales.com. Or you can just call in at 355-5027. And we are here with PDQ and their incredible line of Lowe's boats. Who would have thought that aluminum could be so sexy and, and just really so gorgeous on the water? This year, Lowe has come out with a, a brand new color that you can see here on this 195 that we have. This blue... I don't care what you say, it is a really a sexy color. Um, it does not do it justice sitting here in the showroom. We've got as many lights on as possible, but you pull this thing outside, it looks like a gemstone that just came out of the, the deepest you know, corridors of the, the earth. I mean, it's just a diamond in the rough. And fishermen are generally fishermen. Who would think they would care about the hot colors? But they really, it's like buying your truck, right? You want it to look good on the water as well as operate well and function for you. Everybody wants a nice, bright, shiny new vehicle. And this metallic blue that they came out with this year is just, it's going to suit that purpose very, very well. But that doesn't mean that we don't have the camouflage and the, the standard green, you know, work style utility colors as well. Um, you got black, gray, silver, you know, white. Now this this really gorgeous blue. Um, we got colors that can satisfy pretty much anybody's taste. I'm standing here now too, looking at the console, which has a pretty sporty look to it as well. They did try and dress this one up a little bit, but they're also keeping the price very reasonable. Um, you know, 19 foot, 115 foot, uh, or horse, uh, horsepower four-stroke with the trailer and the mag wheels, and you're just at 23,000. You know, give or take a, a dollar or two either way. You can get into that. I mean, that really is affordable. It's an extremely affordable price when you consider the price of some of these bass boats that are running around there, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, and all it is is a deck that floats on water. This is a deck that floats on water. It's not made of fiberglass. It's made of all aluminum, all welded, no rivets, and you're on the water for $30,000 less. That's a lot of gas to go uh, chasing fish with. Now you've got a center console behind us that is introducing more and more of them to the Lake of the Ozarks. Not something that we've seen a lot up till now, but in the last few years you're seeing more of them. Tell us why a center console, especially Lake of the Ozarks, is uniquely suited to accommodate it. It's kind of learning its niche at the lake right now. Um, the one customer that we do have online to purchase that boat is buying it as a second one to his large cruiser. His biggest complaint is is that he can't go to a restaurant with his big cruiser unless he's tied at the end a slip. 
which means that he's usually waiting outside the restaurant to get parked because he doesn't fit in between the slips. He's buying that so he can put a lot of people on board, go to a small spot, and, and get around the lake. Um, but also on the other end, you also see a lot of service companies are using center consoles because the amount of space that's in the boat, they can carry a lot of gear, a lot of, a lot of tools, um, equipment and parts, and they get around the lake very economically with that. In terms of, in terms of handling, is it, do I have a false sense of security when I'm in a center console over some other, you know, your traditional consoles, or do they handle the stability a little better? It's kind of a, um, a stability increase in, in most regards because of the fact that you're not on one side of the boat anymore with the steering wheel. The steering wheel is in the center, so you get a better perspective balance of just being standing in the center of something than standing on the edge. So your perception of stability is much improved because you're in the middle. Um, now whether or not if you want to put science to the fact and you know pull in Mythbusters and see if it actually works, that's uh, completely up to you. But from a stability standpoint, you're going to feel a lot safer driving in the middle. And then right behind us, we have a boat that is holding its own anymore between the fishing boats and the big cats and the runabouts, the tritune. The tunes have had a reemergence in popularity. And of course, Lowe, it's got a name, it's making some of the finest. Lowe has been making some very, very good strides in the last number of years. Um, they were a little bit slow to, to get on the bandwagon to go to the higher horsepower, but they waited and they saw what the problems were and they addressed them before they even brought the, uh, the motor to, to being a big motor on a pontoon. Um, the, the one that's sitting behind us is just a, a little bit smaller one. It's a 21 foot. Uh, it's set up as a fishing rig. Four fishing seats in all four corners of the boat. It's pre-wired for trolling motor, pre-wired for uh, electronics for as far as depth finders, as fishing rod holders in the back. Um, it does have an option for live well and fish cleaning station as well. So, you know, and then you go all the way up into the, the normal elegance of a regular pontoon or you get into um, the, what they consider our X model, which would be the sporty, high elegance, high horsepower, you know, speed demon. Yeah. And, you, and you know a lot about that. Yep, we did run the OSS race and the shootout, did win our class at the shootout and uh, got a couple of those left. So if anybody's looking to uh, get that same model, we still have a couple that we can do. And let folks know how they can find you. Uh, we are located uh, within Yacht Haven Marina at the one mile mark, right, right off the strip at Bagnell Dam. And our new highway uh, sales lot is on Old Business 54, across from Port Arrowhead, right next to the mini golf course. Excellent. And we look forward to seeing you. Will we see you at the lake race this year? Um, our, the low rep is actually coming in this afternoon, and we're having that discussion this afternoon. So I'm hoping to be there. I had such a good time doing it last year, and we got a lot of really great feedback from uh, the people in the area, uh, how it affected the sales as far as you know getting PDQ's name out as well as the low as a manufacturer. And it, it really helped all the way around. So we probably will be there, but I want to see if the low rep really wants to lend a helping hand this year because it was all us last year. Well, we'll be pulling for you, Dan. Thanks for chatting with us. We look forward to seeing more of you throughout the season. I'm sure we're going to be around. I have something really intellectual to say. Wow, you've got to be really excited about the turnout here in St. Charles for the first time ever. Well, I'm excited about everything because spring is here. Thank you. This Thank new spring boat show is here in St. Charles, and yeah, I'm excited about it. Uh, we've got a great turnout. Uh, the facility is awesome. Free parking, good food. I mean, all the ingredients of a good, successful, long-term show relationship. So, yes. Well, and we're talking about this is just fairly early Friday evening. We're not even to Saturday yet, and you guys are packed. Your booth space here is just unbelievably busy. The traveling circus is what we call it. This is our seventh boat show of the season. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in the St. Louis area, and this is a good way to finish it off. And I brought some great product, and yeah, it's only Friday afternoon. We've been ringing the bell. We've sold some units. We've got some new Yamaha customers that are happy to uh, pick up their new toy soon. So I can't be uh, any, any more happy. Well, let's talk about your toys because your line just gets more and more diverse all the time. 
Well, Yamaha is my mainstay. Uh, everything from the little super jet all the way up to the, what, the 24-foot Yamaha boat. Uh, and they've been great. Yamaha sales have been through the roof, and uh, my customer satisfaction has been through the roof, so we're tickled to death. We've got the G3 product, all the aluminum boats made in Lebanon, Missouri, also a Yamaha company, and you can look at them. I mean, every year they just get more and more beautiful. They do, and yeah. smooth riding and faster. Yes, they, uh, they, they, yeah, the fuel economy is important to Yamaha, the smooth ride, the uh, longevity. Uh, I can't say enough about Yamaha. I'm Speaking really of longevity, how long does your affiliation go back with Yamaha? One million years. That's right, before <laughs> time, right? Uh, 1969, which was about 43 or 4 years ago, my uncle and my dad opened up the first Yamaha shop, probably 10 miles from where we're at right here. Um, since then, there's been... I don't know, four generations of Surdikes selling Yamahas around the area. Uh, I was lucky one to get to go to Lake of the Ozarks to spread the Yamaha thing, you know, down in the Ozarks. So uh, I can't complain at all. Right. We, of course, we're happy to have you down there because whether you're on the water or on land, you guys are always having a good time. Yeah, we do believe in having fun with our product and, and having fun with our customers. Uh, my nine-year-old daughter, she'll come to the shop and sell peaches, you know, in the middle That's of the cool summer. Yeah, 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 and they enjoy it. All my daughters like working at the shop. I've got a great staff. Uh, we couldn't put this together like we have during this traveling circus, we call it, without a great staff. We travel in snow. We travel long hours. We got home at 4 a.m. the other night. My guys don't complain. The next day, they're getting the job done. They're taking care of customers. So uh, come join the Surdike family of uh, fun toys, and we'll put you in uh, some good times. And then you will help them take care of them, because I don't want to lose sight of that as well. It's not just about selling them. You guys have maintenance as well. Uh, yeah, there's millions of people and millions of warranties out there. But what really counts is what are you going to do after you break down or you need service? And uh, my dad and my grandpa told me a long time ago, treat your customers like family and they'll come back and they'll bring their friends. And, and we truly do that. And, uh, you know, it makes it fun. It really Absolutely. does. Yeah. Well, I know that you've had a really long off season. Off really isn't the word for it. Mm -hmm. I know that you guys have been busy and you got to be looking forward to coming home and especially for the April Spring in Water Show. Well, I love everything about spring. I get to ride my dirt bike, my street bike, go crappie fishing, get my new boats out, harbor hop, the, uh, the on-water boat shows, uh, golf. I like to play golf, so that's another thing. Uh, I love to watch my daughters do the dance recital, the spring recital's coming up. So I have spring fever, if you can't tell, uh, as most people in Missouri. And uh, what better way to do it is pick up a new Yamaha Four Winds or G3 and uh, go to the lake. Sounds like a plan. Yep. So we took a trip. Some people take a trip to Funky Town. We took a trip to Tritune Town, and that says it all because you have such a diverse line of tunes that it's amazing, and they just keep getting sportier and sportier and more elegant and more elegant all the time. Yeah, like the model we're sitting on here is uh, made by JC. This is the new JC Sport Tune. And it has a V front end. It has a new material for the floor called uh, seagrass. It has a pad in it, very nice, and a lot of upscale features so that uh, you can fit your whole family on here very easily. Yeah. On and off the boats, we got doors on both sides so it's easier to dock. Right. And uh, uh, fiberglass both on the helm and fiberglass on the front end to keep from any kind of uh, damage. It really is gorgeous, and the thing that always amazes me with the tunes is how much more usable square footage that you get over another type of boat. Right, like this boat's 26 foot, and if you had a 26 foot bow ride or whatever, you you wouldn't, uh, um, you couldn't fit as many people. They can't get around as much. They kind of pretty much have to stay where they're put. Mm -hmm. Where here you can roam around and enjoy yourself when you're boating. And there's a lot of variety, for instance, you do. For someone who's maybe wanting a sportier look, it amazes me the color schemes that they've come out with now. And a lot of the tunes are really looking sharp out on the water. Well, that's an interesting point, Deborah. You point out with the JC brand, we can pick up uh, a lot of bright colors, uh, lighter in tears. Quite often they're white, and, uh, and then we have a, a, a palette of colors to pick from, red, yellow, blue, uh, black, even make it your school colors if you want. So, mm -hmm. Now, Tim, you guys have been at the lake for quite some time. You just celebrated an anniversary here not too long ago, didn't you? Yeah, we've been at the lake 10 years. Uh -huh. Both. And you've made an impression both with your customers and the community at the lake, but you've also made a name for yourself on the water at the shootout. 
Oh, that's correct. So the other brand of boats we carry is called Manitou, and Manitou has a V-tune technology that allows a little bit more lift on that boat. And uh, we ran a Manitou at the shootout, uh, of course, last year, and we won. We won our class with 66 miles per hour with a 250 horsepower. Uh, Evan Rood HO 250 horsepower engine on a 23 foot uh, Manitou. Something that I find impressive about that is people point out to me is when you go that fast in other types of boats, it's a pretty noisy ride. But when you get in a tune anymore, you can go pretty fast across the water and still have a conversation on it. Yeah, that's true. The wind was louder than the motor. So <laughs> <Yeah. before radio. laughs> That says a lot for it. Well, Tim, if folks want to come see you down at the lake, how can they find you? They can find us at uh, on 5695 Osage Beach Parkway. And, of course, look at our website, which is Tritune Town. Dot com. And we have a line, but we're going to save it for later because you're introducing a new line this year, which is bass boats. Yeah, we have bass boats and aluminum fishing boats made by Triton. So we're looking forward to seeing those as the year progresses. Thanks for talking to us here at the St. Charles Boat Show. Nice talking to you. Thank you, Deborah. And here we are sitting in the lap of luxury at the Wake Effects exhibit here in the St. Charles Boat Show, and we might not get up. Ryan, this is the most amazing boat I've seen yet in terms of tri-tunes. It's about as luxurious as you can get. Thank you, yeah. Uh, we just took on Veranda, which is uh, luxury pontoons out of Hot Springs, Arkansas, and we're proud of them. They're super comfy. So when we talk about luxury in a tri-tune, there's gotta be some people who would think, well, why does it need to be that luxurious? But the thing about it is, most people go out on tri-tunes, I'm thinking, they're out there all day. When well, you're out there all day, um, you're looking to be comfortable when you're out. Uh, the idea of boating is to sit in the sun and relax, and uh, this is definitely something that you can relax in. A lot of times when the boats that people generally correlate with luxury, a lot of that luxury is down beneath in the cabin, and you're out on the lake, you want to be out in the sun, right? So why not be comfortable up top where you can really enjoy it? Absolutely. Uh, with a layout like this, you've got loungers everywhere couches that are completely comfortable, armrests, so it's something that you can sit out in the sun and enjoy it. And uh, some other people might say, this is very luxurious upholstery, how, how, what does the sun do to it? Uh, hey. Nothing. Uh, it's five ounce vinyl, so you don't have to worry about the sun fading or anything like that, and uh, it'll hold up to the elements. It's, that's a really cool feature, is like year after year, it's going to keep looking this nice. Absolutely. You, uh, I don't think you have to worry about that. The other thing that I love about this particular boat is in the back area, you can stretch out, recline, but you can also have great tunes back there as well. Yes, if you're looking for rear-facing loungers with the ability to plug in your iPod, it's right there so the kids can sit back, relax, and enjoy their music as well. And they're doing some great things with the carpeting on these boats these days. You know, it's almost like the carpet you'd see in your house, but it's durable as well. Very durable, very luxurious, and if you want to do teak flooring and stuff like that, the option is available. Okay, Ryan, so you were telling me that there's something really special about the aluminum deck on this boat. Absolutely. Uh, what sets us apart from the other pontoon manufacturers that are sold at the lake is Veranda offers an all-aluminum deck. It's an interlocking deck. They have a patent on it, and there's no wood construction in the boat, so we don't have to worry about the wood. We also don't have to worry about flex. Uh, most of your tritunes are going to have cross members throughout that create drag going down the water. With this being an all-interlocking aluminum deck, you don't have to worry about any of that drag. It's also a quieter ride on the water. That's a real, that's interesting technology because people tend to think in terms of the tunes, they think aluminum, but what I didn't realize is it doesn't mean all aluminum. This boat, it does. Absolutely, and this one, all aluminum, completely 100% wood free. And the other great things about these, when we're talking about winterization, dewinterization, and so on and so forth, not really a conversation you have to have with these boats. Correct, yeah. That's the nice thing about the tritunes, and I think that's what's made pontoons in general so popular. So we have an outboard on the back. So with the outboard, you know, you get a 65-degree day like we're going to have coming up this next week, take the boat out, no problem. Absolutely. Yep. And the, I would think that when we're talking luxury in this boat, the first thing people say is like, oh, man, what does that cost? It's not so scary. Not so scary. Uh, for instance, we're sitting in a 25-footer with a Yamaha 250 off the back. Uh, this is our most luxurious model. Runs 62,000 out the door. Wow. That, that is, that's got to come as a pleasant surprise to a lot of people. I think so. We've, we've surprised quite a few people with the price point. Now, you are a brand that typically is associated with, with fast and fun and the sportier side of boating. What made you make the decision to start offering this line? Well, you know, our customers are looking for another option. Um, a lot of times we, we get a lot of people that say well, we want the wakeboard boat, but at the same time, 
got to save money because the wife would like a tritune or somebody else in the family wants to do the tritune. So we explored our options and we, we think we came up with a company that will work well to fit with our products. Speaking of the wakeboard bows, they are fat, they are sporty and cutting edge, but they're getting more comfortable too. Oh, absolutely. Uh, our X55s and the appointments that are in all of our master crafts are always very well appointed. Well, I strongly encourage people to come out and see you back at the lake because all those models go home with you and you just really can't wrap your mind around them until you sit on them and you take a look at what they have to offer. There's more versatility, don't you think, these days than you've seen in a long time? Absolutely. Uh, it's a multi-sport multi-functions on the boat so you can do anything that you want behind them now and the thing that's really exciting is if they want to see them on the water they can come do that in april at the inwater boat show come to the inwater boat show we will be there and if we don't have a boat for you we're right across the lake we'll take you to the right model sounds good as always it's fun checking out what you what you have new and exciting at wake effects absolutely thanks for having us i can't imagine what you can't get on a pwc these days that's right. I mean, anywhere from the brakes to the suspension to uh, adding your own graphics kit to make them whichever way you want to make them. I didn't know about that part. It's very cool. Yeah, with the new Spark, uh, the graphics kits come there, and you pick it out. You choose the way you want to. We can even customize it to you even more. On top of the five colors they come into, we can make it even more to you. Sea Dew has so much to offer these days, it's almost hard to go through the whole checklist of what you can get. But we were just talking that I, I can think of few models that the person who's never been on a PwC before can get on, and they're pretty good to go with c -Doo. That's right. I mean, when we do our demo days, it takes us about five to ten minutes of showing somebody how to use the brakes, how to use the gas, and then getting them on the water. When they leave, they'll bump the dock maybe a little bit, but when they come back after they've been out on the water, they come in, they know how to pull it in there, they're doing it just like the pros in our videos do. You just used a term that in historically has never been used with PwCs, braking. And you can do that with the Sea Dew. Sea Dew is the only one that has brakes. I mean, you have brakes on your car. Why would you not want them on your watercraft? Right, absolutely. I've thought that many a time on a PwC. They also have great suspension now, too, which is something you think about at the Lake of the Ozarks. That's right. I'm not getting any younger. So with the, with the suspension, it takes out that Lake of the Ozarks rough lake and helps you out with that. And just gives you more control over it. And that's what really Sea-Doo brings into the effect of everything is, is that they make a ski, and especially with a new Spark, they make a ski for everybody and everybody's budget. I mean, Spark starts at $49.99. Uh, and then they go all the way up to the suspension limited model, which has got every option that you ever want on one. So they make it very affordable, very great for you, things like that. And then you have this model, which is all about speed. Uh, yeah, this one's all about speed and how fast can I take a corner. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, with just with the Swansons, everything about it, with the, st the ergonomical steering, the tilt, everything with it, the new radical red and black colors for racing. I mean, it's a, just this one's all about how fast can I get to 70. Absolutely, man, and it'll get you there, right? Uh, it'll get you to 70 right fast. Right out of the box. Right out of the box. Not you have to do. You don't have to do any ads to it. Just do it right out of the box. That that's amazing and a little breathtaking at the same time. Yeah, yeah you'll, the breath, will, you'll catch it back as you go across the waves. I saw an accessory over on another bike that is another reason why I think a lot of people really took to PWCs, which is your tow bar. Because I don't have to have mom and dad get the boat out to go wakeboarding anymore. I can get big brother just to pull me on the on the bike. That's right. The wake went over there, uh, you know, with the new colors for 14, it made it even better. But then it's also got the ski mode. It's got the tow bar. Ski mode gives you all the options of great things is because it takes that novice driver, which that's what's great about Sea-Doo is, is it takes that novice driver where they can actually pull them better because it gives you five ramp modes. So it's going to pull you out exactly how hard you like to be pulled out and that speed. Now you don't have to worry about that, you know, your crazy husband or crazy yeah. brother wanting to, you know, get you up to 70 mile an hour and try to pull you behind the ski. The ski's going to do everything for you where all you got to do is steer and just watch them and have fun. And I'll tell you how smooth it is, is last year for the first time I skied behind one and it was my youngest son pulling me. So that's how comfortable you are with being able to go behind a PwC. I was so surprised but they was like let's do it again let's do it again they are i mean and just and they're if you really want to learn how to do it and things like that there's the sea is a great one to be because you don't have that huge prop wash or anything like that the sea do gets you out of the water a lot faster easier and it's a lot easier for you to learn well all these toys are a blast on the water i don't want to let you go though without talking about the fun does not stop with you guys once you get on dry land 
Oh yeah, with our Outlanders and our Mavericks and everything else we have working, the the we know we're fun on land, water, and now we're about to take it even a step further because we've went from our water to our land with all our great products there, and now we're going to take you to the road because we are bringing out the new Spider, and that is our ultimate motorcycle for everybody out to enjoy. And when do we get a peek at that? Uh, we have one in the parking lot. <gasps> I can't wait. Are you going to have it down at the Inwater Boat Show in April? We will have one out in the Inwater Boat Show more than likely. Yeah, you will, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll look forward to taking a ride on all the toys here real soon once we get a little break in the weather. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, the, uh, we've got wetsuits, so there's no reason not That's to right. take it out right now. We go out and have some fun. Right. And then come out and test drive the new Spark. It is truly the ultimate ride come out and look at the spider take it for a test drive and because that's your ultimate ride on the fun and you know with yacht club power sports i mean you know we're um we're where the fun begins and never ends that's right and if people can't wait to get a hold of you they want to talk to you right away how do they get a hold of you uh ycpowersports.com you can get a hold of us right there we've got a great internet team that's always on there they're always uh looking for everything coming in the emails get to them right through their phones uh they've got an internet department set up right here for them so they can they can answer all those or they can give us a call or come by and see us absolutely easy to find you that's right we're under the big red sign right in front of hy -V.